Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you are interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below. I want to show you how to create a transparent image that can be used when you're doing a presentation. And this is uh, appropriate whether you're using PowerPoint or whether you're using Google Slides like I am here, or even if you're using some kind of um, graphic design software. So let me show you what I mean. If I grab this circle here and I place it over the H, you'll notice it covers it completely and there's no space through the circle. And, I, and this border of the image right here that I'm looking at, you know, it covers everything up to that border. Whereas if I take this circle right here, I'll cover it over these letters, you notice now I can see through it. So, and, and also this border doesn't cover everything, right? So I'll show you how to do that because um, you can do this with almost any image. Um, it really any image, it just depends on the way you, you save it and the way that the image is formatted. So let me show you um, using Pixlr. This is an online editor. I didn't have to download any software or anything, but um, I've got two examples here. Um, so first, um, these are the images that I used when I exported my documents or when I exported my, exported my images. The one, uh, so this one here is the transparent image and this one over here is the non-transparent. And the first thing you'll notice is the white and gray checkerboard on the transparent image. That's telling me that this image does not have a background behind it. So that white and gray checkerboard will not display when I export this image, when I save it as an image. Um, and basically, uh, that's how your transparent images almost always look. That's kind of standard practice. So if you see an image with that pattern behind it, that's telling you, hey, the background's missing, which is sometimes a good thing. It depends on what you want. And then over here on the right, you'll see there's a white background. So that's why we don't just use a white background to show, show transparency, because a white background is a background, right? So. Um, now, to how to actually get these images. So first, in Pixlr, what you have to do is if I'm going to create a new image and it all starts with this transparent checkbox right here. If I don't check that, I'll go ahead and hit OK. You notice I get just a white canvas. And now if I hit new image and I do check that and hit OK, I get the checkered image. OK, so it starts with that checkered image. And then once you have the checkered image, you do have to save the file on a certain excuse me, in a certain format, otherwise it won't work properly. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll come up to file and I click save and I get a dialog box. Now notice the white background. That means if I save this right now, it's not going to be transparent image. I need to save the file format. So I'll click on this into a fully transparent PNG image. Okay. So if I save it in a JPEG, that won't work. Whereas if I click the PNG, it saves it in a full transparent, uh, oh, I must not be selected on the right one. Here we go, Here we, uh, save, there we go. All right, so it saves it in full transparency and I can see those white and gray check boxes. You notice on the previous one, I didn't have that. That's because I have this non-trans box, this non-transparent box selected. Um, and then you just hit okay, save it where you wanna save it and you've got your, uh, you've got your transparent image.